Hello everyone, it's Mimikins here. Today I'm going to show you my super recovery builds. This build can be used with most weapons, although weapons with shields may benefit from extra skills such as guard up. I really like these builds for trying out new weapons and monsters. They are also great for more relaxed playstyles. I know a lot of people are put off trying new weapons because it's harder to get into one once you've already mastered a weapon. I mean, the first weapon you use, you're learning the game, you're developing your character, it feels very natural. But then you try another weapon, forget what the combos are, make mistakes and end up a little worse for wear. It's very off-putting. Doing combos in the training room dummy only teaches you so much. That's why I prefer practicing in the field. This set has been designed to cover up all those mistakes so you can kill the monsters you're practicing on. And I don't just mean the great Jagras. Even then, these sets do decent damage. You can play more aggressively, spend a little time stuck in that potion animation, and save on a lot of supplies. I've made some builds utilising both the normal Valhazard gear as well as armour from the tempered version. Both these armour sets have a 3 piece bonus called Super Recovery. You can mix and match pieces from both these sets to gain the effect. Although technically you could use any weapon in the build by tweaking a few jewels here and there, I recommend two of the following weapons since they don't require handicraft jewels and have two spots. They are both Gunastra's weapons and each weapon type has a version of it that's very similar. Therefore it can be changed easily depending on what you play. 1. The Empress Styx version with the ability Razor Sharp for halving sharpness loss. 2. The Empress Ruin version with the ability Haste and Recovery for even more health regen. I'm going to show you all the health gains you will get with this set. 1. The Super Recovery set effect. This constantly recovers your HP. Two, recovery speed, which recovers the red portion of the health. You can even use immunizers to boost this effect even further, as well as some other items. Three, recovery up. This amplifies every health recovery ability by 30%. That includes the health region augment on weapons. 4. The health region augment on the weapon. This heals for 10% of the damage dealt. 5. If you choose the ruin path of Lunastra's weapons, you can get an ability called Haste and Recovery. This actually is the Nergiganti set bonus. It recovers a small portion of health every 5 hits or so, but they need to be within a small window and for slower attacking weapons, it doesn't proc that much. For this reason, I'd also recommend the Empress Styx version of the weapons, which half sharpness goes, meaning you won't need rare jewels such as protective polish and can instead slot this with a damage skill. After adding all my recovery skills, I've put the rest into damage. For weapons that don't consume stamina, build like this. If you decide on using one of the rune type weapons, that's the Renastron or Giganti path, slot in some protective polish so you won't lose sharpness as fast. If you have earplugs, here's an earplug version of the build. There's two free slots, you can add in what you like here. I usually put in two attack for extra damage. If you've got an excess number of attack tools, you could also take out some HP for attack to complete at least tier 4 attack for extra affinity. Now if you have a weapon that consumes stamina with attacks, maximum might isn't ideal as you won't gain the extra critical rate on these hits. Some weapons like switch hats is only certain combos and you could still make use of the maximum might, but there are weapons like dual blades where the main damage is in demon mode and that's constantly draining stamina. So what I recommend for these types of weapons is replacing the maximum might by changing up the armors and using expert jewels, like this. This set is also particularly good for those weapons that drain stamina as I've completed the Lunastra set bonus for stamina cap up. This will give you an extra 50 stamina for all your stamina needs. 
If you have a weapon which allows you to easily slide, for instance hammer, you can replace one duel with affinity slide. This gives a buff each time you slide lasting 15 seconds giving you 30% affinity, allowing you to cap out your affinity on combos. This would also allow you to replace a couple of the expert duels. As you can see from the skills I've managed to put in, there are still a lot of damaging skills available. This set turns really well with the rock steady mantle so you can keep pummeling away. The set doesn't really add that much time to the mission, Nergiganti I was able to complete in less than 5 minutes, while cutting off his tail and breaking his horns. Which really isn't too bad for a survival build. So whether you're feeling tired, need a bit more confidence, or prefer a safer playstyle, these sets are worth building. Please help support our channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.